Welcome back to Forking Good. Today, it's time to take the turkey out of the brine and get it on the smoker. Now, we've been brining this 19 pound bird for a full two days in a brown sugar and salt solution. That recipe is already up if you want to take a look. After we get the bird out of its bath and pat it dry with paper towels, we're going to spash cock it. That just means cut out the backbone and snap the breastbone so the turkey can lay flat when it cooks. To help with this, I bought some poultry shears, but they have one annoying feature. Son of a Really need two handles where you can get your thumbs in because this one doesn't have one and it's really pissing me the off. So, OXO Good Grips. Put a thumb hook over here. I need one. Fuck. Okay, so what the pro chefs can do in like two minutes took me nine. And once I had the backbone out, I decided to go ahead and just cut the bird in half to speed up the cooking time and give me the chance to rub it with two different seasoning blends. For the first one, some fresh sage, rosemary, and thyme, salt, chili powder, garlic powder, paprika, cumin, a little brown sugar, ground fennel seeds, and lastly, a little sumac. Then we mix. And onto one half of the turkey, it goes. We're going under the skin to get this rub directly onto the meat. Once we have as much of the subdermal area coated that we can, we'll rub what's left on top of the skin. On to blend number two. Salt, paprika, garlic powder, and a little nutmeg. We'll mix in some brown sugar, and then we're gonna add in a bit of fresh sage, rosemary, and thyme to finish it off. We're gonna apply this the same way, under the skin and then on top. Once both halves have been rubbed down, we're gonna stick them in the fridge until we're ready to smoke. It's now 5 a.m. on Thanksgiving, and we're getting our pellet grill warmed up. It's set for 250 degrees. Both halves of our turkey are going onto the grill. Next, I'm gonna take a probe thermometer and stick it in the thickest part of the thigh, away from the bone. And we've gotta get that up to 165 before we take it off the grill. We're smoking the bird on a blend of apple and maple wood pellets, and I'm gonna use my wireless home security cameras to keep an eye on that thermometer, which of course, because I'm filming this, has shut itself off. Now it's been about two and a half hours, and we're about 20 degrees away from being done. Let's take a look at the progress. I've swapped the bird's placement on the grill and moved the probe into the breast of the other half. A little more than three hours in, and this half of the bird is done. So let's take her off and let her rest for about an hour. 30 minutes later, here is our other half, smoked to perfection. We're gonna wrap it in foil while it rests. Look at how juicy this bird is. This is right off the carving board. And I know already, it's gonna be forking good. We're gonna finish with a spoonful of our semi-demi-glaze that we made using the backbone and the giblets. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that recipe. For now, I'm digging in. We'll see you back on the next Forking Good.